we are given four points and the problem states that these four points form a parallelogram and they are asking us to find the perimeter and area of this parallelogram. So let's first plot these points to look at it. This number 21 is a little bit too big for a printed coordinate system and anyway I wanted to show you what to do in case a coordinate system somehow is not realistic to use. Okay, so try to, without spending a whole lot of time on precise measurements, try to draw a realistic picture. Because if you can make a realistic picture, then you're halfway on your way understanding the geometric connections. So that said, A is negative 2, negative 3, B is 21, negative 3. So notice that AB is going to be horizontal because they both have the y-coordinate negative 3, right? So the y-coordinate does not change up or down. And the x-coordinate is 21. So that will make it easy for us to read this side's length. Okay, so the next one is C, 5, 9. And then D is negative 18, 9. So again, the y-coordinates are the same. Okay. So usually the area is more work, but in this particular case, the perimeter will take more work. So let's start with the area. So this is the parallelogram. We have not yet learned area formula of the parallelogram, and yet we asked to find the area of this parallelogram, which means that we don't need, we don't need that formula. Indeed, very quickly, we can cut this parallelogram apart into a rectangle and two right triangles. And so we're going to compute the area of these three and add. So let's see first. Well, this whole side, li line segment AB, how long is it? The y coordinate is the same, negative 3, and the x coordinates go from negative 2 to 21. So that's from negative 2 to 0 is 2, another 21. So uh, there are all kinds of ways to see that the horizontal side is 23 units long. And that should be the case up here, indeed. 5 minus negative 18 is 23. So the distance between two points that are horizontal like this is you take you just take the x coordinates and subtract. 5 minus negative 18 is 23 and 21 minus negative 2 is also 23. And what about this vertical line here? Can we figure out we, we can figure out the coordinate of this point. Let's, let's do that. So this point here, what is the x-coordinate? The x-coordinate is the same as for C. So the x-coordinate is 5, and the y-coordinate is negative 3. So this point here is 5, negative 3. And then this point here is 5, 9. So this is a vertical line. The distance is going to be the same as the difference between the two coordinates, 9 minus negative 3. The picture is not that good. This, these two are almost equal. This should be longer. Anyway, so the vertical side is 9 minus negative 3. That's 12 units long. You can also see that. If this is still a little suspicious or weird, you can say, well, from negative 3 to 0, that's 3. And from 0 to 9, that's another 9. So altogether, this vertical side here is 12 units long. OK. Now we still miss all kinds of things, like we need to know separately uh, these two components that make up the horizontal line. So can we do that? This point that we just inserted here, so the two coordinates of this point we inserted here are 5, negative 3. So this horizontal line, the y coordinate is the same, negative 3, negative 3, but the x coordinate goes from negative 2 to 5. 5 minus negative 2, that's 7. So this, this rectangle's horizontal side is 7 units long. Now we should already figure out the, the, remain, the remaining because the whole, whole line segment AB is 23 units long. 23 minus 7, that's 16, which is the same thing we get if we compare the x coordinates. Coordinates um, go from 5 to 21, so this here is 16. Now this vertical line is clearly 12, mm -hmm. 
and this horizontal line here is 7 which means that this remaining line segment is 16 long so the whole picture is symmetrical right you have 12 16 with the right angle between them here is 12 16 with the right angle between them so these two triangles are identical and we're ready to compute the area so the area of the rectangle is it's a 7 by 12 so it's 7 units by 12 units and we have two triangles each of them with area of 1 half 16 times 12 so two and a half cancel out each other and a equals notice i just factored out 12 just for the fun of it and we recovered this number 23 which is interesting so the area is 276 units squared now usually the perimeter is the easier one and we usually start with that but if you notice for the perimeter we just need two side lengths the 23 that we have but we don't have this other one so the perimeter is going to be twice 23 plus twice the same same length which we don't know yet but we can figure it out because it's the hypotenuse of a right triangle with sides 16 and 12 right so if we call it x and we just run the pythagorean theorem on it then we get that 12 squared plus 16 squared equals to x squared 12 squared is 144 16 squared is 256 we add and get 400 so this algebraic equation has two solutions 20 and negative 20 but because x is a distance negative 20 will be ruled out and the hypotenuse is just 20. so now that we know that this side that we labeled x is 20 units long we just add these for 20 plus 23 20 plus 23 so the perimeter is 2 times 23 plus 20 so that's 2 times 43 that's 86 units long thank you for watching